एवरीवन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आईआईटी आई गेट क्लासेस सो इन टूडेज वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी योर गेट 2023 सॉल्यूशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर योर सब्जेक्ट कंट्रोल सिस्टम सो इन 2023 For you, from your control system, the total number of question which was asked it was seven. So out of this seven question, one mark question were four and two mark question were three. In total of ten mark question was asked from control system. So before starting the video session, let me remind you that if you are visiting the channel for the first time, kindly do subscribe our channel. And if you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and share this video video with your friend. so the first question here we have a block diagram so the transfer function ys by rs is so whenever you have such kind of question you have two option either you solve the question using sfg so in sfg you have to redraw means you have to convert this block diagram to signal flow graph and then you have to solve but i have a simple approach see what you need to do you should always start from the right and go towards the left hand side towards your input so if you want to write what is y of s or what is y so start from here you can see y is basically combination of two signal one is let this be x and this be z so x plus z now what is x x you can see it is r into 3 this gain is 3 and the input to this is rs so 3 into r and what is z you can see z is equal to 1 by s into let this be a okay now what is a so a you can see it is 2 times r plus this signal so that is 1 time y so substitute now back substitute in this expression so z you will get 1 by s 2r plus y. Now substitute this x and z in this expression. Okay, so y you get as 3r plus 1 by s 2r plus 1 by s y. So transpose this y terms of y to the left hand side. So this will be what y common. One minus one by s is equal to r common three plus two by s. So take LCM. So this will be y s minus one divided by s is equal to r three s plus two by s. So s s cancel. So y by r what i get 3s plus 2 divided by s minus 1 so which option option b is your correct answer so this is the simplest way to solve the question next over here we have in the nyquist plot of the open loop transfer function gs open loop transfer function is given corresponding to the feedback loop shown in the figure so this is the feedback loop the infinite semicircular arc of the nyquist contour in s plane is mapped into a point at so you should know basically that your nyquist contour this is basically what sigma this is j omega so your nyquist contour it looks something like this so here the small r so this is basically your omega tending to minus infinite this is omega tending to zero minus this is omega tending to 0 plus this is omega tending to infinite plus and this radius is basically capital r tends to infinite and this is basically what this is your nyquist contour we plot this
इन योर रियल पार्ट ऑफ जी एच जे ओमेगा एंड दिस इज योर इमेजिनरी पार्ट ऑफ जी एच जे ओमेगा ओके सो दिस इज योर नाइक्विस्ट प्लॉट सो बेसिकली हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बीन आस्ट दैट फॉर दिस रीजन वेर आर टेंड्स टू इनफाइनाइट दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम ओमेगा टेंडिंग टू इनफाइनाइट प्लस टू omega tending to infinite minus what will be the magnitude of gh j omega that is asked in the question okay so let us try to solve that so first of all what i am going to do i am going to simply substitute s equal to j omega so if i do that this will be 3j omega plus 5 divided by j omega minus 1 so magnitude of g h j omega this will be equal to under root of 9 omega square plus 25 divided by under root of omega square plus 1 now simply what i am going to do limit omega tends to infinite plus so if i put this in your this magnitude what will i get so you can see dividing numerator and denominator by omega square what will i get under root of 9 plus 25 by omega square divided by 1 plus 1 by omega square under root so now if i substitute infinite over here i will be getting 9 even if i substitute omega tending to minus infinite so this sorry i have written 9 so this will be 3 square root of 9 that is 3 so you can see basically on your this is your real part of g j omega this is imaginary part of g j omega so this will correspond to a point that is 3 okay so option c is your correct answer for this question so the next question that we have is consider a unity gain negative feedback system consisting of the plant gs given below and a proportional integral controller let the proportional gain and the integral gain be 3 and 1 so kp given is 3 and ki given is what 1 for a unit step reference input the final values of the controller output and the plant output respectively are so this is your plant transfer function so now first let us draw the diagram over here block diagram so this is your negative unity feedback system so this is your r of s this is your c of s this is your g of s which is actually 1 divided by s minus 1 and over here we have your proportional integral controller so we know the transfer function of proportional integral controller it is what kp plus ki by s so that will be 3 plus 1 by s okay so now here this is your overall so here we have been asked the final value of controller output and the plant output okay so this is your overall plant okay this whole is your overall plant so plant output is c of s and your controller output let this be x of s okay so this is your controller output so we have to find the steady state value or the final value of c of s and x of s so one thing if you are a smart student you can observe that basically calculating the final value of this is simple compared to this one okay 
and all the values are unique over here so if somehow i am able to find out the plant transfer function or plant output okay and then if i apply final value theorem i will be getting my answer so we know what cs by rs if this is your g of s and this is your g sorry c of s then what i can write so this will be g into gc divided by 1 plus g into gc okay so let us solve this one first so this is 1 by s minus 1 into 3s plus 1 divided by s divided by 1 plus 3s plus 1 divided by s square minus s so if i solve this will be 3s plus 1 divided by s square minus s plus 3s so this will be 2s plus 1 so this is cs by rs i got so cs will be equal to what let me solve it in the next page So, Rs given over here is what? For a unit step reference input, okay. So, Rs is equal to U of T, okay. So, sorry, R of T I should have written. So, R of S will be 1 by S. So, C of S is equal to 1 by S into 3s plus 1 divided by s square plus 2s plus 1 or if i want to find the final value of c of s that means c infinite which will be limit s tends to 0 s dot c of s so this will be limit s tends to 0 s into 1 by s 3s plus 1 divided by s square plus 2s plus 1 so s s cancel if i put the limit so i will get one so c infinite the steady state value you can see it comes out to be what it comes out to be one over here okay one so straight away i can mark option d as my answer okay okay so now here in this question we could have marked directly option d and we can straight away move to the next question but as we are solving, let us see now what is the controller output. Okay, so one thing I have made a mistake, see. So basically I have given the position of the block, means I have made a mistake. So this should have been the controller. Controller is before the plant, okay. Sorry. So this will be 3... 1 plus s and this will be 1 by s minus 1 okay so now basically i have to find this x of s so you can see x of s is actually equal to what it is equal to r of s minus y of s into 3 1 plus s you can see this okay from over here so now x of infinite this will be equal to limit s tends to 0 s dot xs so r of s is 1 by s y of s already y of s sorry i have written y of s over here so this should be c of s so c of s already i have calculated so that is what minus 1 by s into 3s plus 1 divided by s square plus 2s plus 1 and this is what into 3 plus 1 by s okay so you can see from here i can take 1 by s common 1 by s common i can take so this will be limit s tends to 0 1 1 by 
s into 1 by s 1 minus 3 s plus 1 s square plus 2 s plus 1 into 3 s plus 1 divided by s so this s s cancel so if i solve this so this will be s square plus 2 s plus 1 minus 3s minus 1 divided by s square plus 2s plus 1 into 3s plus 1 divided by s. So if I solve this 1 1 get cancelled so this I can take s common so s s plus 2 sorry s plus 2 I have written s plus 1 sorry s minus 1 sorry so 2 minus uh, 2s minus 3s that will be minus s divided by s square plus 2s plus 1 into 3s plus 1 divided by s so s s cancel now let me put the limit so this will be minus 1 divided by 1 into 1 so minus 1 you can see is the answer so your controller output comes out to be minus 1 so option d is your correct answer okay next we have a very simple question a continuous time system that is initially at rest that means what all the initial values are zero is described by this differential equation where x of t is the input voltage and y of t is the output voltage the impulse response of the system so what is impulse response so basically it is the laplace inverse laplace transform of the transfer function is basically your impulse response so from this differential equation can we find out your transfer function so let us take laplace transform both sides so this will be s y s plus 3 y of s is equal to 2 x of s initial values are 0 because it is written initially the system is at rest so y s by x s is equal to 2 divided by s plus 3 okay so here it is said impulse response so what is the output for impulse unit impulse input so x of t means x of t is equal to del t so laplace transform of this x s will be equal to 1 so y of s will be equal to 2 s plus 3 so if i take inverse laplace transform this will be 2 e to the power minus 3 t ut so this is the impulse response of the above differential equation okay so which option do we see option c okay so this is not correct remember this is not correct because over here impulse response is always a causal system so don't forget this okay this is your non-causal system. So next question that we have, the magnitude and phase plot of an LTI system are shown in the figure, the transfer function of the system. So by looking at the phase plot and magnitude plot, immediately you can see that magnitude plot is what? It is independent of frequency. Okay, it is independent of frequency and your phase plot it is what it is a linear function of frequency linear function of frequency so such kind of your magnitude and phase plot we get for exponential system okay pure exponential system so here you can see that we have this this and this your exponential system or lag system okay so directly we can eliminate option b now from your magnitude plot what you can see that at zero frequency we have 8 db that means what or you can construct the transfer function like this e to the power minus s into td where td is your time delay so this k we can find out by 20 log k is equal to 8 db so k is e sorry log k is equal to 4 by 10 
और पॉइंट फोर और k इज इक्वल टू टेन टू दावर जीरो पॉइंट फोर सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट इट अराउंड लेट मी सी इट सो वी गेट टू पॉइंट फाइव वन सो I can even eliminate option C. So option A and option D we have. Now for your phase plot, what are we going to do? See, if I put s equal to j omega, so this will be k e to the power minus j omega t d. Now if we calculate the phase for this one, so this will be minus omega t d. Now one thing to note: maximum student make one mistake that this one. this what we have written this is in your radian okay this is in your radian it is not in degree okay and here you can see the phase is in degree so remember this so now you can see what at omega equal to 1 your phase is 60 degree so put this sorry minus 60 degree minus 60 is equal to minus omega is 1 into td now remember this is in radian either you can cal you can change this into radian and find out so that will be what into pi by 180 if you do so td will be equal to what minus pi into 180 into 60 so this will be 3 so this will be minus pi by 3 So if you solve minus pi by three, so that will be what? Okay, so minus minus gets cancelled also. So pi by three. So the value you get is what? One point zero four. So one point zero four seven. So option D. So value of T D I get one point zero four seven. So option D is your correct answer. okay so now the next question that we have consider a lead compensator of the form so this is your standard lead compensator form the frequency at which this compensator produces maximum phase lead is 4 radian per second at this frequency the gain amplification provided by the controller assuming asymptotic bode magnitude plot of KS is six dB. The value of alpha, beta, respectively, are okay. So this is a very very good question. So over here we have been given that this is a lead compensator. So if my lead compensator is of the form S by A, S by B. So what we know that for lead compensator basically. for this to be as lead compensator first a should be greater than b okay a should be greater than b first thing and maximum phase deviation it occurs at a frequency when the value of omega is actually equal to under root of ab radian per second okay this you can even prove okay the form of transfer function given over here is 1 by standard form it is given okay so if we solve this so we will be getting s plus alpha s plus alpha beta into beta okay so this is kind of same like this so maximum frequency will occur at under root of alpha square beta so this value of omega is given as what it is given as 4 radian per second so 4 so alpha under root beta is equal to 4 so this is your equation 1 so put this in your option you can see so which option do we get alpha and beta here also we get 4 so option a can be the correct answer Here two into two four. This can be the also correct answer. Answer three root five no two point six six two point two five square root no. This two I can directly eliminate. So out of this two option, 
any one of the option is correct now the second information provided to hear us is that at this frequency the gain amplification provided by the controller assuming asymptotic bode magnitude plot of ks is 60 p that means what at this frequency at this fre frequency the gain amplification is given as 60 p so let us try to find out the gain of this transfer function so substitute s equal to g omega j omega so this will be j omega plus alpha into beta divided by j omega plus alpha beta so if i calculate the gain this will be what under root of omega square plus alpha square into beta divided by omega square plus alpha square beta square under root okay so this value this is given as in db this this value is given in db as 20 sorry so this value in db is given as 6 db so if i convert 6 db 20 log k is equal to 6 so this is actually equal to k so k is equal to 10 to the power 0 0.3 so if i solve this what i get approximately equal to 2 1.99 so that is 2 okay so k value comes out to be 2 so now let me take this and check with your option which option are we getting so omega is already given 4 so if i put the first option so this is 2 so for first option this will be omega means 16 plus 1 under root divided by this is 16 plus uh, 16 square so that is 256 okay into beta so beta is 16 so this is square root of 17 by under root of 272 into 16 so this i don't think okay this will not be equal to 2 okay so that means option b is your correct answer and even if we check by putting the value so you can see that what this will be 16 plus 4 square root divided by 16 plus uh, this will be 8 64 into beta value is 4 so this will be 16 under root of 20 divided by under root of uh, 80 into 4 so this is 4 so square root that means this is 4 by 2 which comes out to be 2 so your correct answer you can see lhs is equal to rhs when we put option b so your correct answer is option b so the next question that we have over here is consider the state space description of an LTI system with ABCD matrix given for the input sine omega t omega greater than 0 the value of omega for which steady state output of the system will be 0 is okay fine. So here we have ABCD matrix okay. So let us try to find out the transfer function. So transfer function is given as C si minus a inverse into b is this correct no this is not correct because we have plus d over here but usually students forget this d because what happened in 99 percent of the question this d is actually absent or d is equal to zero so we are always in the habit that transfer function is c into si minus a inverse into b so d usually we skip if you skip D over here, you will get the wrong answer. Okay. So don't forget this D. So now if I have to calculate, so first let me calculate SI minus A. So this will be equal to what? S minus 1 plus 1 S plus 2. 
if I have to calculate the inverse of SI minus A, so determinant of this will be S S plus 2 plus 1 and your principal diagonal element, what I will do, I am going to interchange it and your off diagonal element, simply I am going to multiply it with minus 1. So, this is actually a trick for your 2 cross 2 finding the inverse of 2 cross 2 matrix. So, if we have A, B, C, D, okay, a 2 cross 2 matrix, let this be A. So, if I have to find A inverse, so basically write the determinant of A. So, this is your principal diagonal element, principal diagonal element, interchange the principal diagonal element and this is your off diagonal element. So, off diagonal element, simply multiply it with minus 1. So, this will be minus B minus C. So, this is what? This is your A inverse. So, this is a shortcut trick. So, if you solve this, this comes out to be as 1 by S square plus 2S plus 1 into S plus 2, 1 minus 1 S. Okay. So, now 1 by 1 I am going to solve. First, I am going to solve this. So, 1 by S square plus 2S plus 1 and over here we have a 2 cross 2 matrix S plus 2, 1, minus 1 S and B is 0, 1. So, this will be a 2 cross 1 matrix. So, 0, 1 and this will be S. Now, I have solved this. So, combination of this and this, let me see. Okay. So, this is a 1 cross 2 and 2 cross 1 matrix. So, the resultant matrix will be what? It will be 1 cross 1. So, this is 3 minus 2. So, the resultant matrix I will be getting is 1 by S square plus 2S plus 1 and this is 3 minus 2S. Okay. Plus D we have. So, that is 1. So, if I solve this, So, this will be 3 minus 2s plus s square plus 2s plus 1 divided by s square plus 2s plus 1. So, 2s, 2s cancel. So, this comes out to be as s square plus 3 divided by, okay, 3 plus 1. So, that is 4. Okay, so S square plus 2S plus 1. So, this is basically your G of S that is what S square plus 4 divided by S square plus 2S 1 plus 1. So, here we are giving a sinusoidal input. Okay, sinusoidal input. So, if we give sinusoidal input, let me put S equal to J omega. So, what I will be getting minus omega square plus 4 and this will be minus omega square plus 1 plus j2 omega. Now, for this to be 0, what should be the value of omega? So, minus omega square plus 4 should be equal to 0 or omega should be equal to 2 radian per second. So, the answer for this question is 2 radian per second. Okay. So, with this, we end this session. So, if you like the session, please press the thumbs up button and share this video with your friend. And if you are visiting the channel for first time, for more such content, kindly subscribe to our channel. Okay. Thank you.